kids, today we're going to make our very own volcano. Remember, always have your pins with you while doing an experiment. Here's what you'll need. Three cups of flour, one cup of salt, one cup of water, and two tablespoons of oil. First, we're going to make our volcano. We're going to make our own dough. You could also use things like clay, paper mache, or dirt. First, we're going to pour our flour into a bowl. Then, you're going to get your salt and put it onto the flour. Take your one cup of water and pour it onto the salt and dough. Then take two tablespoons of oil and put it in your bowl. Then stir it all up with a fork or a spoon. Once you've mixed up your dough, it should look like this. Add more water if it gets too crumbly. I've made this box just so that it doesn't get messy. But you can also use a tray. Just shaping it into a mountain so that it looks like a volcano. You might want to have a little film canister or something like this, and then you're going to put it into the top of your magazine. If you want to paint it to make it brown. You can paint it if you want it. This is my completed volcano. Now it's time for the eruption. Here's what you'll need. An ounce of vinegar, two tablespoons of baking soda, a little bit of dish soap, and some food coloring. First, Take your baking soda and pour it into your cup. Then take a little squirt of dish soap and squirt it into your container. Then take about two drops of red and yellow food coloring and squeeze them into your container. Now it's time for the eruption. Take your vinegar and quickly pour it into your container. 